in our earlier discussion with foundation cracks, we discovered these hairline cracks due to footing movement. What we see here is a remedy for a crack starting on the inside of the building, not necessary to dig on the outside. What we've done is we've inserted these injection process applicators. Today in the studio we have Rick from Great Outdoors. Hi Rick. Hey Sean. Why don't you explain to us the injection process and how it's performed? Yes, uh, first of all this process can only be done on poured foundations, cannot work on block foundation. We would drill at approximately every four inches into the, right into the crack, inject the epoxy starting from the bottom. Once this is filled, we ins insert the cap. It has to be filled till it starts showing on the next one. We do the same thing till it shows. That ensures that the entire crack has been done. We would do it all the way to the top. We would have hydraulic cement between each of these ports, ensuring that it's a sealed unit. Do you test the systems afterwards with a garden hose? Yes, we do. We, we would flood the outside of the foundation uh, approximately an hour after we've injected, and this tells us if we are successful. At this point, uh, I can say it's easily a 98 to 99 percent success rate. Great. Thanks, Rick. Thank you. To recap, moisture migrates through construction assemblies three ways. Diffusion, vapor pressure, psychrometric activity or condensation, and the final way is through active water leaks through either cracks or failures in our flashing details. Pete, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you see here? Yes, Sean, uh, over here we see a J-trim being used uh, for starting the, fa uh, the siding at the foundation, which is the wrong way. Uh, these come in 12 foot lengths and they come up to a joint like this. All the water, rainwater that comes down will gather at the joint and the water then goes in. And if it goes in, in behind is the sill, plate and also the rim joist. This is the proper way. Starter strip, we can see a little bit of it, the detail at the end here. And it clips on, any water that falls on the wall will just drip down and it's gone. So there's no way for moisture that's terminating at the end of the wall to pool in this J and find its way inside the mold, uh, the wall assembly. We typically find a lot of mold trapped right in here behind this union. What Pete's decided is this is the best system for the water to shed right off. 